Martin Luther King was an amazing speaker and storyteller. He had one particular story that he would often tell. It's the story of a guy named Rip Van Winkle. Have you heard of him? Rip Van Winkle was a friendly but somewhat lazy farmer who lived in a village at the edge of the Catskill Mountains in New York in the early 1800s. Rip would often take long walks up into the mountains to escape his wife, who was always trying to get him to do his chores. One day, his walk took him further than usual up into the mountains, and he came upon a group of strange little men playing nine pins. Nine pins was a game like bowling. Rip stopped to talk to them, and they offered him a drink. He drank the cup, and he grew very, very sleepy and drifted off into a deep slumber. When Rip woke up, everything had changed. He was an old, old man with a long white beard, and the little men were nowhere in sight. Rip returned down the mountain to the town to find that everything there had changed too. His house had crumbled into ruin. His wife and his friends were all gone. His children were grown up. His sleepy village had become a bustling town. He had slept for 20 years and everything had been changing while he was asleep. He spent the rest of his days entertaining the townspeople with tales of the good old days and of his encounters with the little men in the mountains. Martin Luther King had a really good reason for telling this particular story. He would tell the story and say the words, wake up. He was using the Rip Van Winkle story to make the point that many white people in the United States had been asleep. Most white people assumed that because slavery had ended, everything had been fixed and that things were now fair and equal for black people. Martin Luther King was saying that white people need to wake up and see that black people were still experiencing unfairness and injustice all the time. When Martin Luther King was alive, it was very hard and unfair for black people. There were laws that made it hard for black people to vote, and almost impossible for black people to get good jobs or buy houses or go to good schools. During the civil rights movement of the 1960s, some laws were passed to improve things for black people, but it was still not enough. It was still unfair. Today, we call this continuing unfairness systemic racism. Systemic racism is when systems in a society put white people in a much better position to succeed and to be safe while making it much, much harder for black people. This past year has shown us that much of the unfairness and injustice for black people is still here today. People have been waking up to the truth that America is not safe or fair for black people. Have you ever woken up to notice something unfair that you didn't see before? This waking up can be hard and even painful. This waking up is the feeling of your heart breaking. And the only question is, will your heart break open 